The following Michael facts will make you scream i.e. poppy this chorizo is Nui Delicioso. The place where Michael did his first heist gig was in Carcer City, the city from the Rockstar Games' other franchise called Manhunt. It was not as big as his other high-profile gigs, but Michael got $10,000. This thing clicked with Michael so much so that he started his criminal life. Michael is the best shooter of the trio, and the game does not prevent this thing from showing. Michael holds a handgun with both his hands, while the other two, Trevor and Franklin, holds a handgun in just one of the hands. Michael Michael's way of handling a handgun is the correct procedure to hold and fire a gun. Michael's special ability also aids him in shooting with better precision. His special ability is a reference to Rockstar Games' another franchise called Max Payne, where the protagonist has the ability to slow down and kill with more accuracy called Bullet Time. It is not confirmed, but Michael wanted to be a cop. In one mission where he has to dress like a cop, Trevor comments about Michael's fulfillment of his childhood dream to become a cop. Subscribe if you want a burrito with fries. The sniper rifle is a weapon that has been featured in every GTA game since GTA 3. In GTA 5, it is manufactured by Shrewsbury. From GTA 3 to GTA Liberty City Stories, the sniper rifle resembles a Remington Model 700. The rifle is only able to use single rounds per reload, opposed to the real-life inspiration, which is equipped with 5 or 10 round magazine. The GTA 4 rendition is still modeled after a Remington Model 700, but features a detachable magazine this time. This rendition uses a 5-round magazine. In GTA 5, the sniper rifle is based on the Arctic Warfare, specifically the AWF. The weapon has a top and side Picatinny rails. Can be purchased from Ammo Nation for $5,000 after the mission Nervous Ron. The weapon can be fitted with a suppressor. From GTA San Andreas up to the latest games, shooting the birds flying in the air causes them to disappear, with the exception of GTA 5 and GTA Online, where shooting a bird will kill it like the video for good luck. Even though there are signs outside Terminal 2 for San Fierro Air and signs outside Terminal 4 for Los Santos Air, these airlines are never seen advertised or seen on the airport tarmac. When flying over the airport, the air traffic controller will warn the player to leave the area, but will sometimes warn the player that they will be shot down, even though this is a civilian area that is supposedly unarmed. This is due to reused voice files from the Fort Sancudo Air Control. If shooting the Shamals, Jets, and Luxors that are approaching the runway, they will instead change course and fly into the Pacific Ocean. In the mission Legal Trouble, planes land on different runways from the other direction, thrust from the engines cause police vehicles to flip, and there are planes parked in different places and ways. Sometimes a group of plane spotters looking with binoculars and taking pictures of landing aircraft can be found on the beach by the northwestern entrance of the airport. In the enhanced version, the airport fences securing the perimeter have been made completely indestructible. For each like this video gets, I will do a push-up. Sometimes an air ambulance can be seen flying around the prison. This is most likely a glitch as the air ambulance is actually a reskinned police maverick. Shooting a firearm anywhere near the prison will cause an automatic 3-star wanted level. If the player is near the penitentiary while being wanted, the prison alarm will go off and guards will be warned of the player's presence, causing them to attack. This can be remedied by using the cops turn blind eye feature from Lester as to safely gain access inside the prison for a limited time. Shooting a guard with a sniper rifle from the front or back will give the player a 2-star wanted level. If the player approaches from the back with 2 stars and goes up the prison's west side they will receive 4 stars, which is also received for punching the guard. Inside the recreation yard, there is writing on a wall that reads, where water meets land and fire once spewed forth, there the infinite 8 shall stay until I return. The message is left by Merle Abrahams, who was obsessed with the number 8 and had killed 8 people in 1999. Subscribe and follow for more. In GTA 5 there is a suspicious group of FIB agents at the satellite dishes in the Grand Sonora Desert, every day from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The agents stand guard next to two FIB vehicles, while various scientists talk among themselves to the side. The agents can't be seen in the PS4, Xbox One, and PC versions of GTA 5. The scientists are still there. The scientists stop talking when the player enters the area. The FIB agents will attack the player if he stays in the area for too long, or if the player prompts a conversation with one of them. If the player tries to escape in a vehicle, a wanted level will be given, and the agents will give chase to the player in their vehicles. The agents will always spawn with pistols. The scientists, however, are passive, and will run away from the player if he attacks them. The whole scene seems very shady and could be linked to alien activity going on at Fort Sancudo. The communications may be sent between FIB agents or aliens. The satellites are a reference to the real-life SETI program. Clear your schedule. I'm horny. Give a like, 
Get a croissant. Trevor is shown to sport a number of tattoos on his body, most of which are permanent. Only one tattoo can be removed. It spells out R.I.P. Michael, 1965 to 2004, brother. In the European version of the game, you have the option to switch to Trevor in the middle of the gameplay. Sometimes, Trevor is shown to be on top of a mountain watching the scenery wearing a dress. The dress does not do a very good job of covering Trevor's private parts. And that is how you discover that Trevor Phillips prefers to go commando, we get a sense that Trevor has also had relations with animals, and even inanimate objects like the teddy bear prominently featured in the game called Mr. Raspberry Jam. The makers of GTA have revealed that, while designing the three protagonists of GTA 5, they shaped their personalities to reflect the three types of individuals that studies show play GTA. Trevor was specifically based on the type of player who prefers to ignore missions in favor of driving around the city causing as much destruction as possible. Mount Kiliad is one of three named mountains in Blaine County, San Andreas in GTA 5, located far to the north, in the Kiliad Mountain State Wilderness, it serves as the tallest mountain in the game at 798 meters, 2,619 feet, at the east end of Raton Canyon, there's an observation platform overlooking the Alamo Sea and on that platform is a sign that shows you what you're looking at. The sign shows the elevation of Gilead at 2,744 meters, 9,002 feet. The wooden ramp looks like it might have been intended for a stunt jump. Completing the jump does not register as a stunt jump. The message come back when your story is complete is written on the back of the observation deck. Under the observation deck, there is a large red eye on the mountain itself. This is later revealed by the clues on the mountain to be related to the hidden UFO sighting. Upon reaching 100% game completion and standing on the observation deck, a UFO with FIB markings will appear overhead. Once the UFO appears, it will stay there as long as the player is on the mountain peak. Barbers are present in Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, and GTA 5, and they allow the player to choose a hairstyle. Style, they also allow the purchase of face paints, contact lenses, and makeup in GTA Online. In Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, barbers become available for use during the third story mission, Ryder. The types of hairstyles selected may enhance both the player's respect from Grove Street family's members and the player's appeal towards girlfriends. In GTA 5, Barbers become available after completing the second story mission. The hairstyles and facial hairstyles only serve as a cosmetic customization, not affecting the gameplay in any way. There's only one high-end barber shop in GTA 5, the Bob Mullet Salon in Rockford Hills. The salon has its own unique interior, unlike all the other barber shops that share the same model. It is also much bigger than the other shops, and unique haircuts can be acquired there, being much more expensive. There are multiple low-end barber shops in the game. The haircuts are much cheaper. Barber shops were cut from Grand Theft Auto 4 during development however, they can still be found in the game files.